Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton. I'm at Quid in Milan, Italy, and I'm joined by Daniela Fazio from Flextronics. Daniela, thank you for talking to me today. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about how the whole design process works. If someone with a very creative solution comes to you with almost a sketch on a napkin, how can you take that to what you can finally offer, which is global manufacturing? Um, let's say that uh, uh, the typical engagement that we have with our customer could be an engagement uh, of uh, product requirement uh, or marketing requirement. Uh, maybe sometimes we have just uh, pure ideas uh, from the customer and sometimes uh, what they are asking is uh, to work on the definition mm -hmm. of what are the requirements, uh, uh, leveraging on our experience in the product development of uh, medical devices. And uh, from our side, what we can offer uh, is that uh, uh, we have a full solution for the full product development. Let's say, starting from ideation uh, down to the product, uh, to, to the concept, uh, to the product development, mm -hmm. um, and to the introduction on the, on the manufacturing side. I think that uh, in our design center, that uh, is the biggest design center in Flextronics, not only in Flex Medical. So it's a design center of about 170 people, fully dedicated to medical and to the design and the development. In our design center, uh, I think that uh, we can cover all the, the departments, all the disciplines, mm. and, and whatever it takes. Uh, uh, for uh, the, the development of medical products. So yeah. we have uh, good experience in the design of medical devices. Uh, we have experience in the design also of medical equipment. Uh, in Milan, I think that we have uh, the, our uh, uh, state-of-the-art uh, center of excellence mm. for the development of uh, injector, okay. electromechanical miniaturized injector. Yeah. Some of, the, of these devices are devices that are not yet on, uh, on the mm. market, but. Uh, you are going to see them in one or two years, yeah. uh, and uh, the, I think that this will be some breaking news uh, yeah. in terms but, of uh, miniaturization, yeah. complexity, uh, dedicated to, to different drugs. Uh, so a lot of customers are focusing on, on that. Yeah. And the, one of the strongest points for us is the capability to design for the manufacturing. That is a differentiator. Mm. We are not a pure design center that is designing products, uh, but when we design, we have always the focus to the fact that the design must be reliable, uh, must be manufacturable yeah. with a good DFM, design for manufacturing, yeah. uh, design for assembly, design for testability. These are all uh, kind of uh, yeah. uh, topics that typically we discuss with our customers and for us are differentiated. Yeah, for sure. absolutely. They're key benefits. And the medical sector seems very vibrant in terms of moving towards handheld devices, devices for drug delivery. You're seeing that from multiple clients, and you're seeing lots of lots of lots of different ideas, lots of different yes, solutions. Uh, yeah. Also in this field, there are different concepts. Uh, uh, the trend is uh, to have, uh, for sure, miniaturization, mm. to have uh, automation in the delivery. That is to say. Uh, the typical requirements it, that we have is that uh, the patient, for example, does not want to see the needle. Mm. Just to give an example, they maybe just want to push a button, have uh, an automatic uh, eject of the needle, yeah. automatic extrusion, uh, then the retract of the needle without uh, uh, without seeing it, without yeah. uh, without I'll... obviously without pain. Uh, that yeah. is a requirement. Also, in this case, is a requirement for uh, for the electronics and the mechanical design. Yeah because uh, it translates in speed of the, of the needle eject, yeah. for example, but also a lot of automation and a lot of compliance. So what we are seeing, uh, and this is general, not only related to the drug delivery, but uh, the electronics is really entering uh, in, uh, in the market, also in the medical market, mm. also for devices that in the past were purely mechanical. Mm. Try to think to mechanical uh, pen for insulin delivery. Right now, electronics is entering this yeah. field, typically for compliance. Yeah. Uh, for data logging uh, and uh, as part of uh, uh, telehealth and telemedicine, that yeah. is another big trend uh, that is driving the requirements of our of our products in general. Yeah. So it brings it brings together a lot of technologies, but from your point of view, it also brings together a lot of um, manufacturing um, possibilities that you have: plastic mouldings, um, the, uh, the the kind of the. the um, injection of, of product, the mechanics and the electronics that you're very well known for. There's a lot of disciplines working together there. How does that work within the design center? Is there a lot of meetings of, of different departments? Yes, uh, typically when we staff a project of this complexity and mm. we are involving all these departments, uh, 
uh, typically we staff a team that uh, as a leader, as a technical leader that uh, uh, is the system engineer that is in charge uh, for, uh, he, has a, he is responsible for the mm. development of the product and the compliance of the product to the requirements. We have the project manager that is managing uh, the whole complexity related also to our vertical integration. Yeah. That is to say the interaction with the design center, with the, the supply chain, with uh, the manufacturing site. Uh, and I think that we can leverage really the vertical integration in Plex. Yeah. That is one of the strength points because in Plex we can offer really a full solution uh, yeah. Uh, not only for uh, for the design, but uh, a full solution in terms of advanced procurement, advanced mm. sourcing, uh, interaction with several factories of Plex. Uh, we can provide uh, uh, tool design, uh, plastics, uh, metal parts, uh, and uh, so I think that is really a comprehensive yeah. solution. This is one of the reasons why a lot of customers maybe are coming to, to, yeah. to us. And on top of that, you offer the global footprint, so not only can it be manufactured elsewhere in the world, but it can be delivered, configured, um, yes direct into the customer everywhere in the world. That's that's really a key as well, isn't it? Yeah, we can select among factories. Uh, mm. We have a several, as you say, we have a really a complex footprint uh, in several areas uh, of the globe, uh, and we can really select uh, the right factory according to the volume. So we have yeah. a high volume, low mix solution, high mix, low volume yeah. solution, depends on the complexity, also on the manufacturing. Uh, and we have several uh, design center, in, also in other segments, not only medical, yeah. and we can leverage this opportunity also to, to have the right product in the right factory, yeah. if you yeah. want. And in also in right terms place. of technology, because not all the factories have uh, maybe the same capabilities mm. uh, of manufacturing than, uh, than others. So internally, we have always a full roadmap of uh, develop, under development of capabilities in all the mm. site, uh, and we are always updated, and we can really pick up the right solution for the right product. Let's yeah. see. Yeah, excellent. Well, Daniela, thanks for stopping by for, to talk to me. Uh, exciting you. design centre. I hope it continues to grow, and thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.